It's January 2022. Welcome to Murray's Monthly Marketing Mashup. We've talked over the previous few sessions about uh, traditional media, digital. We got into streaming, and I've received a, a slew of questions and uh, requests for follow-up. Uh, these were specific to business categories, and so I thought we'd do something a little different today and talk specifically not just about streaming, but about streaming and automotive target groups and recruitment target groups. All right, so we've already gone over how millions of people have cut the cord and in the coming 12 months, millions more. We've talked about how cable penetration fell below 50% two years ago and last year fell below 45. Uh, now I wanna get into the numbers of streaming. In the US, there are 257 million adults. Of us, 202 million stream during the typical month. That's eight in 10 US adults, 79%. Of the 202 million streamers, 150 million are using YouTube. Now they may be using other uh, sites as well, but we know they're using YouTube. And that's seven in 10 of all streamers, or 74%, three quarters. And when we talk about YouTube, we see 144 million are using YouTube free. Now they may, be people using a YouTube paid and then going to free, but we do know they are using free and that's nine in 10. Actually, I, I can't round up to 100%, but it's 96% of all YouTube's audience can be reached via free. Let's talk about adult audiences. What does it mean when we say YouTube reaches 150 million people every month? If you look at the NBA regular season on TV and cable, uh, it reaches 52 million people throughout the year. Uh, MLB regular season, 79 million adults throughout the year. The NFL regular season, 112 million. The Super Bowl, one game, 104. Put that in comparison to what YouTube does each and every single month. Again, I wanted to talk specifically about business categories, and auto was the first. There are those planning to buy a new vehicle, a leased vehicle, a used vehicle, any luxury vehicle or specifically a hybrid and electric vehicle. And what we know is that better than eight and 10 of all of these groups are streaming from 83% of those planning to buy new up to 93% of the luxury car purchasers. To the left-hand side, I wanted to give you a little more about these audiences. Um, when it comes to devices, roughly 95% on average own some sort of device. Regarding connected TVs in the household, nine out of 10 of all of the target groups. And when we talk about going not online, not streaming, but straight to YouTube, specifically YouTube, it's two thirds or better uh, of these groups. 61%, 67% of the new and leased, 70, 75 of the used and electric and uh, two thirds of all the luxury buyers, not streaming, but specifically to YouTube. Did the same thing for recruitment. There are different target groups of those unemployed and looking, those temporarily laid off, those who said, or at the beginning of the year, you know, I'm going to change jobs, those already online looking for work. And what about those recent college graduates? Well, again, when it comes to streaming, 83% of those unemployed are laid off. 90, 92% of those already looking online or those who plan to change a job and 97% of those recent college grads. To the left-hand side, again, better than nine in 10, an average of about 95% own a device. Nine in 10 have something connected to their TV for alternate viewing and not streaming, but specifically YouTube, 66% or better, up to 82% of those recent college grads. When we, when we talk about not just that huge audience, there's also engagement. And this is unreal, especially when we talk about YouTube's battle for consumer attention, for consumer time. During the typical month, over the past 12, there have been 4.1 billion visits to the site, YouTube. That's 18 visits per visitor. They're going on average every other day. There are an aggregate of 110 billion total views. That's 27 views per person every time they visit. Over the course of the month, because they're visiting with frequency, it's about 500 views per visitor. It's a hell of a frequency. And when you talk about minutes, what is 543 billion minutes? 
right? We're, we're talking about fighting for TV time, cable time, maybe time on social, time with a magazine, time with the family, time going out to eat, time, whatever. What is 543 billion minutes? It turns out to be 91 billion hours, 377 million days, 54 million weeks, or if you were a single individual who had to sit down and watch 543 billion minutes worth of something, it would take you a million years. Again, an incredible level of engagement, a huge audience, an audience you can deliver with frequency. Well, I thank you for taking the time. We'll get back on track regarding uh, retail and uh, e-commerce and consumer confidence next month. I thank you all for joining.